back to my channel. So today's video I have decided to do something a little bit more subtle on the eye but then pair it with like a bold out there kind of power lip, more natural kind of brow and a natural uh, lash and um, yeah just really went out there with the lip. I really enjoyed this look and I really love how it turned out. I did kind of wing it, um, I didn't really know what I wanted, I didn't do any wing light or anything so it's not really intense. Um, I'm so in love with these new lashes that I got. These are the Vixen from Socialize. And I have like a few more of their lashes and I actually really, really love their lashes. All the products that I use will be in the description bar down below. So if you'd like to see how I got this look here, then just keep watching because I'm going to jump straight into it. As always, I'm starting off with prepping my eyes with my Paint Pot by MAC in Painterly to help my eyeshadows last throughout the day. Then going in with the eyeshadow Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek on a nice big fluffy brush. Placing that in my crease area and all over the lid to help my eyeshadows blend out nicely. Going in with the shadow Latte also by Makeup Geek, I'm placing that in my crease area and dragging the colours backwards and forwards rather than going in with a whole heap of colour. I like to just gradually build up my colour just so it blends out really nicely. Also by Makeup Geek, I'm taking the eyeshadow Cocoa Bear and running that through my crease area just to help with the next colour blend out nicely so there's no harsh lines. And I'm just dragging that colour from outer corner to inner corner. Now taking the eyeshadow Mocha from Makeup Geek. I'm sorry, I just love these eyeshadow guys so that's why I'm always using them. Anyway, I'm just putting that all over my crease area. Then I go in with a fluffy brush and just blend all these colors out so they all blend out nicely and so there's no harsh lines. I also take the shadow Cocoa Bear and just run that under my lower lash line, making sure that it connects up on the outer corner. Going in with my favourite eye pencil by NYX, it is the Wonder Pencil in the shade Light. I love wearing this, it really brings out and opens up my eyes because I do have really small eyes. Then taking my Harper Sharp Winged Liner by Maybelline New York and drawing a very thin line on my upper lash line just in prep for some falsies that I'm about to put on. Also by Maybelline, I'm taking my Big Eyes Mascara. I think it's the black side. It's the little side of the brush and I'm just prepping my eyes for some falsies. Now for the falsies, they are the Vixen by Socialize. I'm so obsessed with these. They are so pretty. Now going in with my MAC highlighter in Soft and Gentle and placing that onto the top of my brow bone for just a nice highlight. Then going in with my Makeup Store Eye Dust in Fame and placing that onto the inner tear duct of my eyes just for a nice little pop. Then taking the same mascara and just coating my lower lash lines about three times. Now for face, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade Sun Beige. I am going to do a review on this, so stay tuned for that. Then going in with the L'Oreal Superstay Concealer in the shade Light. This was the first time I used it and I didn't realise how quick it dried, but apart from that, it has really great coverage, so I really like that. But next time, I'm going to just blend it out a little bit quicker. As you can see, I'm going in and blending it out now with just a little mini beauty blender and I kind of cut out the rest of it just because it was the first time that I used it and it didn't go to plan. Then going in with my AC contour kit and taking the highlighter in the vanilla shade and highlighting any areas that I use the concealer. Then going in with my Face of Australia Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in Dark Brown and setting my foundation. Then going in with my MAC Bronzer in Golden and just bronzing up my cheekbones and my temple, down my neck and down the sides of my nose. 
Now going in with my eyeshadow by Bobbi Brown in taupe and really chiseling out my cheekbone area. If you do follow me on Instagram, you would already know how much I've been loving this as a contour shade. It's just a really cool tone bronzy shade and it's perfect for contouring and I'm such a fan of it at the moment. Taking my Milani baked brush in Bellissimo Bronze and just placing that onto the apples of my cheeks and up the sides of my cheekbones. Now this is a really glittery, bronzy, glowy blush and it's perfect for that extra bang of glow. Then going in once again with my MAC highlighter in Soft and Gentle and highlighting the tops of my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. Now onto lips, I'm taking my lip liner by MAC in Vino and just lining my lips and I do draw the sides of my lips in a little bit as you will see in the next clip, next, next, next clip in prep for that little bit of a darker colour um, in the next clip, you'll see. Now taking this dark vampy lipstick by MAC, it is called Rebel, I absolutely love it. I'm just placing that all over my lips and just rubbing that in. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and please give it a big thumbs up if you did. I can't wait to share my next video with you guys and I'll see you then, bye.